So the film focuses on a period of Diana's life that isn't particularly well known. Yes. Now, you were working from a book, I understand. Well, uh, that's what I was working in it originally from a two-page outline, and I, I thought I knew a bit about Diana's life, and I didn't know anything about this. Uh, and what really interested me was there's a scene in which Diana, the most famous woman in the world, is turns up in a, 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 a burger bar at midnight in a brown wig. Uh, to meet a heart surgeon who's eating this disgusting, unhealthy food, which he was addicted to. And I thought, well, that's a scene that you can write. Uh, and from there, I kind of realized, I think, that um, Hasnat Khan was the love of her life. But she was, he was what she was looking for the whole time. There had been a great void in Diana, a great search for love, ever since her mother left her when she was uh, a very, very young child. Uh, and it had never been filled in her marriage or in any other relationship. Uh, and I think what happened with, with Hasnat Khan was that he was someone who could connect uh, uh, an emotional relationship with the world outside. She always wanted to do good. She was always had a, an impulse to help people. And with, with him, someone who spent, you know, 12 hours doing a heart operation to save someone's life, she suddenly found it. She suddenly found someone who was not only emotionally fulfilling, but connected her to a, a, a social and political world beyond. And that was a huge learning curve for her and even though the relationship couldn't last she was a very public person he was a very private person at the same time uh, she learned an enormous amount from that and she said afterwards that she could never be lonely again and, and she had somehow found something which connected her emotionally to the world and it was a great tragedy that she died because I think she was on the verge of doing her most amazing things how much license can you take with something like this? I'm sorry? How much license can you take with something like this? Well, we've changed things like the order of events. Um, uh, it's, it, I've kind of switched a few things around because dramatically uh, certain things happen in an inconvenient way. But then, you know, Shakespeare did that, so that, that seems to be fine. Um, and the other great license you take is you don't know what happened between the two of them when they're on their own. But in a love story, you have to write those five or six scenes where uh, everybody, uh, where, where the two people link together and have this huge row or have this huge coming together. So you have to write those scenes and that's, uh, that's um, th it's not journalism. You have to take a leap in the dark and hope that you've kind of got it right. Marvellous. Thank you very much, sir. Nice to meet you.